Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> That's what is that? What did he do? What did what did he do? Did he out neutral me? What's up, everybody? This is Justin Wong, and we're back with another talking topic video. And this time, it's about neutral. Um, I've seen a lot of people talk about how you know neutral doesn't exist anymore. The age of footsies is completely gone, and you know we're in the age of unga bunga. Our fighting games at a point where it's just like much easier to learn to play. People are understanding how to just bypass neutral, neut using neutral skip moves and everything like that. I do feel that unga bunga is a upon us but you know we're gonna talk about it if you guys want to hear my thoughts hit the like share subscribe turn on bell notification and let's get into the video uh posted about this i noticed that recent fighting games are having a paradigm shift towards aggression mechanics street fire 6 drive rush drives wild assault Granblue's rising raging chain even tekken 8's new heat system we're moving the age of footies and neutral and into the age of unga allow me to clarify some things i did not mean to imply that all old fighting games were footsie fighters this was just a common observation of most popular fighting games between the years 2015 to 2020 street fighter 5 mk11 sam show grand blue fantasy versus strive season one etc of course there are exceptions to this my personal obs observation has been that ever since the fighting game renaissance started by street fighter 4 most fighting games that followed it begin to design around specific trends. It happens at such intervals that you can easily divide them into errors where certain mechanics were prevalent. And I, I respect it. I understand what he's trying to say. Like, obviously, he's saying that, like, more recent fighting games are kind of, you know, crazy. But I actually have a different take on it. Because even though with, like, after Street Fighter 4, I do felt like, you know, games at the highest level, like Street Fighter 5, uh, Sam Show... Grand Blue, um, you know, MK11, they was it was still part of footsies and neutral and everything like that. It's more of like, can people weather the storm? When he's saying like all old games are like kind of like considered as footsie fighters or just slower pace because there's not lots of mechanics where it kind of bypass neutral. I don't think it's because of that. I think it's also because people were not good at fighting games back in the day. Games were just a bit slower. That, I think that's why fighting games weren't as popular back in the day before the age of social media, uh, YouTube and live streaming where people can share information. It was just harder to like get good. And because of that, people always are going to play more defensively, not have optimal combos, not knowing how specific special moves work. You know, it takes time to develop back in the day when it comes to fighting games. As older fighting games have developed during the modern day era of social media and streaming and YouTube, they also became more unga bunga, right? There's a revolution of older games being played by more people, information is being shared. You know, people have mods about like frame, you know, frame data, being able to view them in actual playing, like especially on Fightcade, and they became more crazy. They became more unga bunga crazy, kind of like one of the first examples of uh, just a footsie fighter being so crazy, just insanely dumb was uh, Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo. Obviously, you, the grand finals of Tokido versus John Choi. John Choi, known as like, you know, really fundamentally solid player. Tokido also is also fundamentally solid. But for some reason, during this time, he realized, oh, I could just turn off my brain and just literally wall dive my way to like like top three making money in st and everything like that but like check this out right and look at that you just do it early like you can't stop it it's so hard to stop and everything like that and literally everybody in america like everybody in the world couldn't really stop this because doing early wall dive into that little split punch move was just crazy and look he's able to do all this stuff right but does it really matter like, you still have to react every single time. It's really hard to get to, past that. And John Choi is a person that has been playing ST forever. I don't know how long Tokido has been playing ST. Before this tournament, I have never seen Tokido ever played ST at EVO. Again, he's been to EVO every year. You know what I mean? So it's just one of those things. It's like, you, you don't even know. Like, I'm like, when did he learn? Or did he just pick up this strategy and just, like, went with it and it just cooked the world, right? So this is one of those matchups that's, like, it's just so funny, right? Look, he got a guess. Uh-huh. Look, that early one. Can't stop that, right? This is Combo Vega 2023. It's Vega versus Vega. And I have I actually flew out Hokuto for this tournament. And it's just Vega versus Vega Grand Finals. And it's just so hard. Like, you just literally just wall dive all day, every day. 
so Mao is considered the best in the world. Hokuto is really good. Like he's definitely one of the best in the world as well. But Hokuto has not like made his like kind of like when it comes to like showing people like he's that dude. Only like people in the online world. That's why I kind of flew him out, right? And he actually put Mao in losers with Vega. So it's like kind of like if Mao, who's considered the best in the world, can't beat his own strategy. It's kind of good, right? Right. You just literally it's just wall dive city, right? This is neutral skipping. Neutral skipping. I feel like at this one, this one is you know you're not really playing neutral at this point, right? It's just funny. Mm, try to go for the grab. Uh, uh, right? It's just it's just so funny, right? Like you would assume this game is Street Fighter 2. Everyone talk all the OG heads talk about how Street Fighter 2 is like the, the the fundamentals everything like that but this there is nothing nothing fundamentals about this literally it's just mashing jumping using the jump speed mashing whiffing jump normals going mashing grab both parties are mashing grab if you look at their hands they're probably mashing forward punch all day forward punch forward punch people love third strike so much like third strike is such an amazing game and has all the stuff blah, blah blah but when you think about neutral skips obviously the top tiers like chung lee is very she's neutral heavy but she's op neutral heavy like has great buttons and everything like that uh but then you you fight against a character that really bypasses neutral because of just his super so when you think about genai Jin, right most people are like oh this is it's just a, a super that grants you custom combos and everything like that i'm like yeah you're right you're right in terms of that regards like if there was a summary of like on like what genai Jin is from capcom's official website it's gonna be like oh it's a super that makes uh yun have the ability to like juggle combos and everything like that but it's really not, it's at this point of the game where it's not used at that. When any Chun Li player or anybody sees Yun has full bar, you have to play defensively because you're like, oh, he's gonna activate, right? Activate. What what did he do, bro? Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> That's what is that? What did he do? What did what did he do? Did he out neutral me? Did he out neutral me there, boys? <laughs> he put me in the corner instantly. People just naturally uh just figure out how to use these like tools even though it's not like kind of like how uh sp a bad idea is saying is like oh super six drive rush um it's meant to kind of like you know like skip neutral and everything because you just like go across the screen it's hard to react to you know same thing with grand blue 66 l people are being very um creative these days with like kind of like older games using like the things in characters arsenal so alpha 2 was played so much as a footsie fighter you know they're just playing footsie it's playing sweep fireball neutral and everything like that but as the pandemic happened more people started figuring out like oh custom combos are actually busted right so custom combos are actually majorly busted just activations invincibility can't watch your feet and it leads to so much set play stuff and you know vicky viper amazing amazing rushdown player in general Right, she is playing Sakura, right? And I kid you not, I'm gonna be honest with you. She is the most unga bunga character I have seen in an old game outside of Vega for a while because her cross up for some reason acts as like a pseudo unblockable where it's just really hard and you get pretty much into a loop all day. It's just really hard to get out. Right, so, so stuff like that's like really hard. To, to get around because sakura is just so good at doing that like literally it's just like the neutral is like okay i'm gonna walk block and then activate or get an alpha counter knock you down or get a grab and boom that's it right so even though with these amazing normals that sakura has with like jump heavy jump uh, standing heavy kick fireballs and everything you don't even use the tools that she has that really gives her that neutral you're like i don't want to play this neutral game where we're going to play this like little whiff punish. I want to get in and just mix you up, right? And that's like, see, like right there, that's like the knockdown game, that alpha counter right there, right? One short, short, short. That's it. That's going to be game. Okay, right? And then boss is like, okay, I have activation, so I'm going to just activate. Look at the damage. So that move, activating custom combos automatically has invincibility frames and it's a it's a it's a tool used for for combos but now in the they're using it for as neutral 
Walk forward, walk forward, activate. Oh, you didn't watch your legs? Oh, that's unfortunate for you, right? In regards. So look right here. Neutral, neutral, neutral. Oh, knockdown. Oh, now you gotta guess. Now you gotta guess. And the cross. So that was neutral, right? That might as well be like Street Fighter 6 drive rush. Um, right there mechanic and alpha 2 but it was just insane at that point right because it automatically moves you forward even though custom combos like in street fighter uh like capcom series they're literally meant to give you a a custom combo extend your combo just like street fighter 6 drive rush it extends your combo but the players are figuring out how to use it as a neutral skip tool right like street fighter 6 drive rush is now used as like oh yeah i'm skipping neutral because i'm gonna i'm gonna use this tool to dash forward and press my good button and it leads into that you gotta block it now i gotta put you in a tick throw situation uh same thing if you do button in the drive rush you're literally have to guess in that situation right there the age of footsie and neutrals is kind of we're moving past that and it's not because it's the age of unga the age of unga is always there it's just that people are just getting better at fighting games and knowing how to actually skip neutral by using neutral skip tools and using more of the, the different type of mechanics or using the tools that the character has or using a mechanic that probably the developer didn't mean for it to work like that. People just didn't have the grasp of understanding how to play fighting games. That's kind of how I was able to just like press buttons correctly and just punish people and i was just a lot faster in terms of mobility and movement so people always say oh yeah justin wong's neutral and footsies are so good it's really because like there wasn't many people that can contest me uh, back in the day because i was just able to learn games faster now there are players are so good at the footsie and neutral game that gives me a run for my money obviously punk the god amazing player one of the best players that i would have ever fought when it comes to just footsies and neutral and everything but even then, like, he could still get got when it comes to the age of Unga and everything like that. Just, like, you know, really hard stuff. But his reactions are just so good that he can, he's one of the players, the few players that can still play what we call the age of footsies in neutral and make people play much slower. You know, there's going to be, that's not going to really happen all the times. You're not going to see that classic chess match that you would always want to see from back in the day. I really thought this conversation was really cool to have and just seeing people talk about it and everything like that. Maybe these are more of younger players that didn't know how games were back in the day. And you know, from my perspective, yeah, I just felt like people were just bad at fighting games back in the day. Now we're just better. I personally think I'm uh, better like in terms of knowledge, maybe my reaction is not as good or my, my hunger for being the best is not there. But in terms of my knowledge, in terms of what I know now, it's just I feel like I understand how to play fighting games way more now, what to look for, even when I go back to older games I'd never played before and how to keep it just always my turn, uh, my way and everything like that. Hope you guys enjoyed that. If you guys did enjoy this conversation, hit the like, share, subscribe, turn on the bell notification. And I would like, love to know, you know, in the comments below, what do you guys think about this neutral thing and everything like that? Are we past that? Can we still play it? Blah, blah, blah. Our old games are neutral footsies. But like I said, I, I think a lot of stuff changed and it's going to keep changing in general, right? But other than that, stay safe and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.